Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, and scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Texan PL380. This is an AM FM long wave short wave digital portable radio and I perform a daytime medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, then we'll start cruising the daytime band. So here it is, the Texan PL380. It's got a huge following. There's a lot of reasons why. Let's go over some features. Left hand side, we got a carry strap. We have a headphone jack for FM stereo reception, which is nice. Here we have a DC input, uh, USB mini, uh, to charge the nickel metal hydride batteries if you put those in. Nice setup. On the front, we have a bunch of buttons. We have a light snooze button. It's kind of nice. It's got an amber side light there. We have a lockout button. We have a time set button, alarm set button. Over here we have a little speaker. Sounds okay. Um, I'm a fan of the 310 better. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, buttons, okay. Let's see. We got a power button over here with a sleep function. Turn it off. <laughs> we have a display feature. Uh, that changes this top mode here. So we alarm time and temperature when the radio is off. And when the radio is on, it has signal to noise ratio, temperature, uh, alarm time, and local time, which is nice. Here we have FM stereo uh, toggle switch and a light on or off. So you can set the light to this radio to be always off. I kind of like that feature if you don't want to drain the batteries. Nice large LCD display. If you look on there, it shows the battery life. Uh, it's set to nickel metal hydride. You can change that to alkaline, which is good. So don't accidentally charge alkaline batteries. And of course we have our clock showing, 24 hour mode. Uh, you can set it to 12 hour mode also. Looking at the buttons here, we have ETM, easy tuning mode. That's a really nice feature if you're traveling and you don't want to ruin your regular presets. Use the ETM function. It'll scan looking for stations and save them into a temporary storage. And then you can always erase those to delete them. Uh, but your main presets are unchanged. Here we have view frequency, view memory. Um, this is if you want to cruise the band with the frequency, with the tuning wheel, or if you want to go cruise your presets. You hit this button and you can go through your presets, which is nice. Over here we have the AM bandwidth button dedicated. This thing is fantastic on shortwave and on medium wave. Numeric entry. I mean, sorry, numeric keypad for direct entry. Really nice. Look, you look at the orange there. It's good when the radio is off. FM set. This has a bunch of FM bands and it should be labeled on the back. We'll show you that. There's 12, 24 hour. Over here you can see it says 9K, 10K. That switches the AM band. Down here, your battery charge. Uh, we want to start that. I'll beep on and off on zero. That's a good thing. I hate the beep function. <laughs> I turn it off. Here we have a confirmation key and delete entry key. Let's see, we have over here band select. So you can select your FM, medium wave, long wave, and of course your short wave bands here. And of course, you hold these buttons, you get the auto tuning system. PL380. There you are. I haven't had this radio out in a while. I figured it'd be good to do some tuning. Tuning wheel and volume controls there on the side. No tuning knobs, just little wheels. On top of the radio, we have a normal whip antenna. On the back of the radio, we have our frequency information. You can see the FM, 87 to 108, and then it's expanded 64 to 108. It's pretty nice. Of course, 9K, 10K, and medium wave. Our long wave, and then our short wave coverage, 2.3 to 21.9. That's pretty decent. Some Chinese writing, uh, maybe a Chinese model. Uh, down here it takes three double a batteries and that's the orientation right there i'll go ahead and open this up i think right now i'm using nickel metal hydrides ebl high capacity these are great uh, they run a long long time uh, on a radio like this yeah you're gonna get many many hours maybe 60 70 plus hours let's go ahead and close that up on camera there we go pretty easy Let's go ahead and do a size comparison real quick. Um, I'm going to bring out, let me bring this up a little bit, the uh, radio I like to recommend a lot. It's the 310 ET. Pretty much similar functions, just got a larger speaker. I like to display myself on this one. It's a little high reflective background. You can see it's like a silver type background. Um, I like the fact that it has a external jack for the shortwave antenna. Now you can hook up a shortwave antenna to this, but just right to the antenna mast. 
Um, that's one extra thing about 310 I like. I also like the 310's got a normal tuning wheel here. Tuning knob, excuse me. See that? It's a normal tuning knob. It's pretty handy. Um, but yeah, but a lot of people like the 380's buttons, and I do too. The buttons are raised, and they're easy to press. Um, on the 310, they're like super flush, and they're a little harder to press. They're not as as nice for that. So yeah. Let's go ahead and show you some more radios and get tuning. So here we have CC Skywave, smaller radio. And we have CC Pocket, of course. Got to show you that to give you an idea how big the radios are. The, three, uh, the 380 is actually a nice size. You know, it's a little bit more compact than the 310. And then we got deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin like no one can. He loves Texans from China land. He's Iron Man. Okay, I guess cruising the band now. Yeah, a lot to talk about in the book radio. Well, let's go ahead and get going. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button. Our little static, lower the volume. Go ahead and bring this down. And there's the signal noise ratio. This will change. And if I use a loop, you'll actually see a difference in gain, which is nice. Let's go ahead and turn this up and find our first station. Now it's slow tunes and fast tunes automatically. I can't change that. So if I shoot past this station, it's because I want a little too quick. So it's tuning at one kilohertz when I go slow. Here's WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Bandwidth. Three kilohertz is a good setting for most stations. Four for music, four or six for music, and then two or one when you're really trying to get a faint station. Let's go go up the band a little bit more. Stronger station. Here's 560 WIND Chicago. Here's WILL, uh, Urbana, Illinois, about 150 miles away. Let's bring a loop in. I like using the Turk Advantage. And let's just spend a little time to show you how this works. I'm going to do a perpendicular to the ferrite antenna. Watch that game. There we go. So big improvement. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, I didn't. Uh, I probably should have gave you the time. It showed on here. You can go to the. Actually, I was going to bring the radio, but here we go. It's 12:33 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. I think we're about five, five and a half hours after sunrise, and we're about four and a half hours to sunset. Give you an idea. So pretty much right in the midday. Okay, this is 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan, about 140 miles away. You can hear them. WNT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles. Probably one of the farthest stations we'll pick up during the day. Let's 
Here's WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, what they do, this electronic consortium does, they, they make note of that, and then they, they notify the, the clerk's office. Hispanic music on 640 WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. Too fast. <laughs> that's really the recipe for what can shut down a Vikings offense that's really been rolling. I feel like tonight's game, we're talking with Matthew Collar of the Purple Insider Podcast. You should subscribe. Here's the to score to be SCR, Chicago, a, a 670, man, home of the Cubs. So Strong signal, you can tell, up nearby. I feel like both of these teams, franchise wise, not just the, the 2020 version. Too fast. <laughs> it's interesting that we have kind of allowed ourselves some comfortability with services like that, while at the same time we're very nervous. Here's 720 WGN Chicago. One is necessarily right or wrong, but you know I think what we have found is that in the physical spaces, you know most people are not. It's so important and not patient waiting and listening to God. Uh, it's something I think, I think you know, if there's one thing we WNDZ, can do, Portage, we Indiana. To learn to slow down, pray, and listen more. Because that's really the church's fundamental. And that's 37 for Route 3, not about 20 coming in. Perfect. He's a, the double uh, arrow means fast. Uh, 780 to be BBM, Chicago. Right out 19, inbound is 20. Good on 57, delay free on the Bishop. Stop. We're working on uh, Leo DiCaprio's new movie, Ice on Fire. We traveled yeah. uh, with a film crew. WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. About 40 miles away. You and I are both in it. Um, and, and we traveled from. from So there's 860 WNOV out of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, 50 miles that way north. And uh, yeah, this uh, station's 250 watts, so it's cool. It's picking it up nice. Here's the 890 WLS Chicago. I think I'll start whining if I go right to 890. Yeah, so it has a little interference on 890, but just like one kilohertz off. Sounds good. Is that big enough for you to, in a sense, not be able to turn down the case? The Big Badger to be OKY in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. WBKM Sandwich, Illinois, relevant radio. Go a little quicker here. Music on 940 WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. The Lord has brought forth our 
vindication. Come, let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Sharpen the arrows, take up the shield. 950 WNTD, Chicago. As again, relevant radio, as you can tell. <laughs> Nine seventy WHA Madison, Wisconsin. Hunting him down, dead or alive. And unbeknownst to the beleaguered king, he would soon face a far more lethal force. Something okay. bigger without losing yourself in the crowd. And as you grow in every aspect of your life, you'll discover that making the world a better place isn't wishful thinking. ESPN, uh, WMVP, Chicago. Valpo invites you to think of the world you want to live in. Then build it. WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Strong station, as you can see. Usually WLIP Kenosha. Guessing that's uh, down. We can check with the Skywave. Skywave, we can direct entry to, which is nice. Let me just uh, do it right. Button pressing. Yes, yeah, so the station must be out. This will pick it up too. Okay, let's keep going. Ten seventy uh, WTSO Madison, Wisconsin. Quality representation. Going back a little bit. Here's uh, Benton Harbor, Michigan, WHFB, about ninety five miles away. Could bring a loop in, see if we can make that sound better. On the music, but yeah, there you go, 1060. That's a good grab, too. I like that. Okay, let's keep rolling. WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. WNBI, Chicago. Eleven thirty to be ISM Milwaukee, Wisconsin. By experts specifically for your dog or cat's needs. Purity Preferred created products for calming and hip and joint mobility issues. Maybe someone will share something with you. Or maybe you'll learn something here and there. God was wise. W Y L L Chicago, Illinois. Hope for your life. Christian Radio. A lot of people will find this display appealing. So we'll see if we can get the squirrel on 1180. There we go. My squirrel makes an appearance. WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. Known as the squirrel. <laughs> Squirrels in your neighborhood. <laughs> Twelve hundred WRTO Chicago. Gracias, Roger. Important. Twelve 
WRTO Chicago. Oh, sorry, Joaquin. W I just said the wrong thing. WKRS. Yes, I'm looking at a list. It helps me. <laughs> we'll cheat, cheat. Uh, 1220 WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. WCLO, Jamesville, Wisconsin. WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. We have a signal here on 1260 WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away, sometimes hard to pick up. If you guys can hear that. Come on. <laughs> That's a fast slow. WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Twelve ninety here is a music station if it'll come in. I hear it. I can loop back in. Let's get to this in. Okay, I'm not sure what they're playing there. It doesn't sound fantastic, but uh, twelve ninety. That's uh, W. ZTI, Greenfield, Wisconsin. Going too fast again. WRDZ LaGrange, Illinois. WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. What links this radio below? It's a pretty cool radio. Uh, some people might like the features of this one more. In the 310. You can see they're about the same size. 310 might just be just a tad larger. Okay, let's keep going. WNTA Rockford, Illinois. A couple stations here. There's one on Milwaukee, WJYI. It's kind of hard to find stations on 1340. 1360 is WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. Learn more at Tempurpedic.com. What's new in store at Staples? Have music on 1380 WBEL South Beloit, Illinois. <laughs> Not sure what kind of music that is. Thirteen ninety WGRB usually comes in stronger. This is Chicago. Sounds like interference on there. Okay, we got music on WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. Radio Rundown. Sign up for a free agriculture. 
agricultural facility assessment from ComEd and an energy advisor will help you... Here's WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. ...like incentives to upgrade your LED grow lights. My LED grow lights. <laughs> what am I growing? <laughs> It's important to have my LED grow lights. <laughs> 1430 WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. We're getting there to the end. Let's see, WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Rock on, Rockford. <laughs> it's not really rocking, but... <laughs> Got a hint of uh, WCEV, Cicero, Illinois. I could bring the loop in, but you get the idea. It'll work. Sometimes I'll pick up something there. Let's keep going. Fourteen nineties Iron Country WGEZ Beloit, Wisconsin. Fifteen hundred WPJX Rebel Radio Zion Illinois. They got heavy metal on AM. <laughs> Gotta love that. Hint of WRDD Waukesha, Wisconsin. Just here, a little bit of talk there. WLUV Loves Park Illinois. Got some music, we're barely picking it up. Good song playing. WCKG, Elmer, still in Skipping some stations here. Try to find them. These are faint ones. Just picking up sounds like some uh, Christian music. 1560 WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. WTTN, Watertown, Wisconsin. Super fast. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you have your presets. Uh, WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. I think I did it once on this radio where I set my presets to every 10 kilohertz. Till it ran out, and that was pretty nice. <laughs> it worked up to a certain, what, 1500 or so. But yeah, that was pretty nice. Because you get 100 presets per band, and I think you get 250 on shortwave band. So, I'll give you an idea. I think it's 550 presets on a text in here, if I remember correctly. We're almost done. Traffic Advisory Radio on 1620, uh, Lake County, Illinois. Come on. Passed it twice. WSJP, uh, Catholic Radio Station, Sussex, Wisconsin. Oh, there's two stations I wanted to hit. Here we go. Uh, WOZN, The Zone, Madison, Wisconsin. 
1690 is our last station, and we'll call it. WBON Chicago. All right, you got the idea. Go ahead and turn that off. The PL380 is it a buy in today's market? We got a new Texan radio coming out at 3:30. The PL330 was shortwave and everything for around what under 80 bucks. And this one here is about 50. Um, I like this radio for, for beginners too, is because the buttons are nice. I like the fact that it runs on normal AA batteries. That new 330 model is coming out with a running on a BL5C, similar to the Radiwow, um, the R108, which I usually have handy. Give you an idea. Here's the R108. This uses a rechargeable battery, but uh, it depends on the person what they want. Uh, so there's different options for you. Uh, this a lot of people like the 380, so I'm glad I featured it today. If you like the video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like Texan radios, you want to see more reviews, band scans, and comparisons, hit subscribe at the bell icon. And of course, three comment below what you think about the PL380 during the daytime band scan on the medium wave. Let me know. I'm kind of curious what you think. I thought I did pretty well, um, considering. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.